Hi. Uh, welcome to this Monday edition of uh, Monday Market, weekly update on all things factor investing and sectors. So today let's uh, start 12th of September. Let's, uh, we are almost two, three quarters of the year. So let's, so we have a fair idea, you know, where you're going, but three months are a long, four months are a long time in the market, three and a half months to be rather precise. So, you know, let's see. Uh, what happens? Uh, let's have what. Let's see what's happened last week. The small caps. That's that's been the area of where you know we've seen a fair amount of action, up three percent. Um, maybe driven by value and the market uh, up about two percent. But uh, small caps clearly the standout. On a monthly basis, uh, it's been the overall broader market as well as small caps. So we're seeing uh, recovery across. The market is not just a very narrow uh, recovery. Irrespective uh, of what people say, you know, we can we can uh, debate till the cows come home and you know why the market is going, where it's going, and is it going to fall and is it stalled and all of that. But data is data, trends are trends. We cannot uh, ignore them. On a year-to-date basis, however, uh, you know, small caps are still down 11%, which is not bad considering they were down 30%. They've recovered almost 20% from their uh, max drawdown this year. Uh, quality is up 3%, uh, market's up about 2%. So not a great year per se, but uh, given the environment that we, we are in, that uh, inflation in US at 40 year high, uh, the Fed is actually embarked on a rate hike the cycle. Uh, had we uh, the Russia-Ukraine war, which was not uh, factored in by anybody. No one knew about it. So, you know, given all of that, if we were told at the beginning of the year that all these events are going to happen and uh, maybe by September markets are going to be up, up about 2%, I think, so we would gladly take it. So, not a bad uh, market at all, uh, given the context of, uh, you know, where we are in the world right now. Uh, in terms of factor trends, now for everything uh, except uh, small cap, everything is in an uptrend. So that's good. Factor investor, subscribe where you can go and uh, subscribe. Now let's look at sectors. You know, what has done well last week? So it's clearly been realty, which has been the front runner, followed by auto metals and banks, which have been consistent and ha are building up on their gains over the years. IT had a bad week. Down six percent. Uh, that's quite a lot. So IT and pharma are the laggards. Uh, pharma not so much, but IT uh, quite a bit still uh, um, is is in pain. For the month till date, also it's been uh, realty and uh, IT, which are uh, the top and most underperforming sectors. Uh, and year to date. Uh, Energy and uh, auto are the top performers. Auto, energy and uh, metals have given back few of their gains, and auto has auto SMCG banks have steadily climbed up. And we've also seen that in our momentum portfolio, we have a number of uh, auto, auto banks. We have some SMCGs, we have some banks, uh, banks there. Uh, we have a couple of healthcare companies, uh, no IT companies at all. So that tells you uh, that you know uh, that in sync with the market. Uh, IT is still having a bad year. It was recovering a little bit, but last week gave back six percent and uh, down up again twenty eight percent for the year. So that's the sector which is uh, clearly in pain, and uh, maybe where the value guys will be looking for things. But as uh, momentum investors, uh, you know we are not looking at IT right now. Uh, sectors uh, which are up, so all sectors uh, except for IT and pharma, obviously uh, show also uh, you know the yearly data shows. Um, so out of eleven sectors, nine are in an uptrend and only two are in a downtrend. So a broad recovery across the across the board. Let's look at the factor all whether we updated you on this uh, last week. Uh, in August, we went about one third in on RiskCon, uh, about uh, which was uh, via the quality factor, 
and now uh, this month which is beginning of september it's uh, 100% respond and uh, fully uh, you know through momentum and value so so let's see we hope it's the beginning of a much longer trend uh, so far so good and it's moving slowly but steadily so that's always a good thing uh, with that we are at the end of uh, this week's market wrap thanks for watching uh, the usual disclaimer nothing in this video is investment advice purely for educational purposes and please consult your investment advisor before investing thank you you can follow me on twitter at anish shaley at suvidi cap and uh, if you're interested in knowing about our pms uh, offering you can visit us at suvidicap.com and uh, as usual please don't forget to like subscribe and follow our youtube channel thank you so much for watching and see you again uh, next week bye